Buenos dias. Uh, this is day 259 since we left home. And uh, we're in Bolivia, a town called Uyuni. And right now we are in a place called uh, Cemeterio de Trenes. It's the cemetery of the trains, where all trains get to die and are buried. <laughs> and today we'll be talking about burnout. Yeah. We, we feel like we need to share with you what happens when you're traveling for a long time. We've been on the road for eight and a half months now. And we've covered, this is our 14th country. And of course, there's different types of weathers that we have encountered, different types of roads and terrains. Some days that we are extremely tired, and some days that our energies are oops, up, up, up. But everything just like working. Um, there's a day you wake up and you feel, whoa, I need a break. So that's how we feel right now. Uh, those you can share more about how you feel. Mm, traveling is hard work. Because everywhere you go, especially in South, uh, South America, uh, there is language barrier and it's really tiring. Like, we are learning, at the same time it's very tiring trying to understand everything that's happening around us. And the altitude has also been an issue because we've gone up to uh, an altitude of like 4,500 meters and uh, the altitude sickness has been so real for both of us. Uh, and also like the temperatures, uh, just all all of that just take up uh, a toll on your mind and, and body. Yeah. So um, for us, I think we're looking forward to get to a place where we can just chill for a week and just decompress. Yeah, it's it's a uh, the different cultures that we get to experience we enjoy so much learning new things every day but on the other hand we also kind of feel like um, the travel is a, is a little fast because our visas are not too long and we are using motorbikes so that's one thing the speed that we move at is, is pretty high meaning our rest days are very few uh, and when they happen it's one or two so the impact is not as much you don't feel like that rest is really a rest, it's, it's a day or two. The other thing is, um, sometimes we talk to people at home and we miss them. The kids call us and tell us this and this is happening and we feel sometimes like we're missing out. And all those things are, there's the, the physical body getting tired, there's the emotional part where it's to do with the travel, it's to do with friends and families out there that also contributes. And yeah, we we feel now that we need to take about a week or two and rest and focus on ourselves and our energy, inner energy. We would like to take care of our bodies more, probably have a massage and have a swimming pool we can dip once or twice. In a, in a couple of days and yeah just spoil ourselves and get our energy back for the rest of the journey yeah thank you for joining us for our uh, burnout confessions <laughs> and they are real and if you're traveling also for a long time uh, please let us know how you feel about your burnout share your experiences on our on the comments below I think even those who travel for a short time, it's possible to have burnout. So please let us know what you feel when you're out there traveling. How do you deal with this kind of a situation that we're calling a burnout?
Even if we are suffering from the burnout, all is not lost. We're still enjoying our travels and enjoy the train station clip right after our talk. Please subscribe and like and share. Thank you.